Hello. Let us get ready, everyone. We're going to start in one minute. Vamos a comenzar en un minuto. Pongámonos listos, por favor. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hi. Hello. Hi, hi. So let's get ready. <laughs> I think we can start right now. It's been two minutes. And I see more people logged in in the class. Hi, Josue. Hi, Astalia. Hi, Emerson. Thank you so much for being in the class. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hello. Everybody. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Pedrina. Hi, Gabriela. Hi. Sandrita. Hi. Okay. So we're going to start today with the class. Today is class number 19, right? So we're going to do, let me go ahead and start with you. Just give me one moment. Okay. Okay. So, okay. We're going to start with video conference number 19, how to use CAN for informal requests. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to have a lot of practice, of course. Right? Starting with the conversation that we're going to have at this moment. In this conversation, right, that we see here, Right, we have Mike and Maria. They are talking about filling out a complaint, okay? They are filling out a complaint. A complaint is something that you don't like. For example, for example, if you, <coughs> for example, if you have problems with your cell phone and your cell phone is new, you have to contact the company, right? To let them know mm -mm, something is bad with my cell phone today, right? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill out a complaint. Please listen to me and we're going to see the information on, on the computer, okay? Listen to me. We have Mike and Maria. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal, my computer. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send some let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, in this complaint, I, I want you to look at the following. Because we are going to use this example to complete our, our examples today, of course. We have file a complaint. Okay, file a complaint about what? About my terminal or my computer, right? Now, what is, what is the problem with the computer? Who can tell me what is the problem on, on the computer? She mentioned there the problem. What is the problem? I was very slow yesterday. It was the computer, right? It yes, it was. It was very it slow was yesterday. Slow yesterday. And, and this tour on today. Very good. This is the problem. Right? This is how Maria describes the problem. Right? She says it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. That is the problem, right? What is he says? He, what is he going to send? What is he going to send to her? He's going to send something. What is he going to send? What is he going to send? With a complaint form. He's going to send a complaint form. Very good. Excellent job, Sandrita. You are on fire. He's going to send a complaint form. Right? A complaint form. A complaint form means that she's going to write, she's going to write in the complaint form the problem. Right? Now. I want you to please practice the pronunciation of this conversation with me. Let's see. I would like you to practice with me. Oh, da -da -da. Angie, you are Mike. Sandra, you are Marie. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Um, quién soy yo? Mike. Mike, okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for calling the e department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complete complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. <clears throat> It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send so, someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in a time. Thank you. Uh, you are welcome. You are welcome. welcome. Very You're good. welcome. Very good, Angie. Very good, Sandrita. Thank you so much. Mike, it's Thank going you. to be you, Emerson. Thank you for calling the IT department. IT. IT. And Maria is going to be Ana Gabriela. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. IT. IT no, department. It. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it, di it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. You're welcome. Very good. Very good. Now, just let's practice this word. It's very, very um, common, but it's difficult to pronounce. Hello. Repeat with me, Anna. Hello. 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 Very good. Hello. Hello. Okay. Excellent. Now I want two other people here to help me out. Let me see here. Juan Josue, you are going to be Mike. Asalia, you're going to be Maria. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> thank you for calling the IT department. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file complaint about my work terminal computer. I am sorry they heard that. Please describe the problem. It was, it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are, you are welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, very good. Very good. Do I have two volunteers? No voluntarios? To practice? No? Okay, let's continue. Now, I want you to look at this conversation right now. Remember the problem that we are describing. We're describing here the problem of the computer. Do you remember that we have problems that you wrote before, right? Ustedes ya escribieron un montón de problemas que tienen con uh, computers, con printers, con many things, right? You have a lot of problems that you have written. So today, we are going to do the same. Let me stop sharing this. What we're going to do right now is that we have a complaint form, right? This complaint form is on your book, okay? It's on your book. But right now, I want you to pay attention to what we're going to put here. We're going to put the name of the person who is complaining. In this case, who was the person complaining in the conversation? Page 46, thank you, Asalia. Look at the conversation. Who was complaining in the conversation? Maria Ochoa. Maria Ochoa, very good job, Maria. Very good job. Here, so we have Maria Ochoa. Very good. Now, I cannot see the conversation, but you can see it. Yo no puedo ver la conversación. Ustedes la pueden ver. What is the date of the complaint? What day is today? What day is today? Today is? What day is today? Today is Wednesday. No, today is not Wednesday. Today is March. Thursday. March what? March. March. Twenty-five. Okay, and how do you say 25 para la fecha? Ya les enseñé cómo decir eso. How do you say that? For date. 25th. 25th. Very good. March 25th, 2021. That's the date of the complaint. Very good. The phone number of this person. 
Does it appear the phone number in the conversation? No. No, right? Okay, she's filling out the complaint. No. So what's the phone number of Maria Ochoa, Leida? Tell me a phone number. Tell me a phone number. El mío. Or you can invent another one. Phone so phone soon. number. Hong Kong number. Six one eight nine five four one zero. One zero. Zero. Repeat. Zero. Very good. And work phone number, Daniela Milka. Work phone number. Uh, two, four, six, eight, five, five, seven, eight. Very good. A street address. Well, fax number, we don't use faxes anymore, so let's omit that information. No sé qué es un fax ni cómo se escribe un fax number. Así que, let's go with a street address. What's the street address, Angie? Um, uh, <clears throat> um, um, <laughs> where, where? What is the street address? Um, uh -huh. En Spanish, es la dirección, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh, cuarta calle, or street. Ok, Fourth Street. Fourth Street. Um, and five, ¿cómo dirías? Guión. Five, guión. One. Uh -huh. Five, as one. Um, San Salvador. Okay. City San Salvador. Okay. Okay. San Salvador. Very good. Email address. Email address. Emerson. Sí, puede ser inventado. Sí, verdad? Yeah, of course. Um, Ochoa that that seven seven three um no sé cómo se dice arroba arroba no at 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 gmail gmail dot com at gmail dot com ocho that 73 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for the email. And what is the complaint? What is the complaint, Celia? <clears throat> Tell me the complaint. The complaint is on the conversation. Mm -hmm. This... I will like to report a problem with my printer? No, the, the problem with the, the Maria Ochoa reported. Okay. Read the conversation, everyone. We can I say. need to fill a complaint about your terminal computer. My work terminal? What happens with the work terminal? Work terminal. Yeah. What's the problem, Celia? I was very slow yesterday. And um, it did snow tour on today. It was very slow yesterday and 
It did, did, did. And it didn't, it turn didn't today. turn on today. Oh. Okay, very good. That is a problem, right? This is what we need to write. Then we put the signature of Maria Ochoa here, right? I'm going to put the signature of Maria Ochoa. Very good. And the date, March 25th again, right? 2021, very good. We just filled out a complaint form with the conversation of Maria Ochoa and the IT department, right? Now, right now, what you are going to do, because every one of you, todos, 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 Everyone has a complaint form on your books, right? So in pairs, in pairs, you are going to fill a complaint form with another problem, with another problem, okay? So it's going to be something new, right? It's going to be something new. You are going to change the name, you're going to change the number, the street, everything. Everything. This is the example that you're going to follow. Okay? Is that clear what we're doing? ¿Se entiende qué vamos yes. a hacer? Elaborar otro, otro problema. Okay, very good. En, en Angie's, página, yes, exactly. So Angie says yes. What about the others? Is it clear what you're going uh -huh. to do? Is it clear what you're going to do? Uh, ah. Del mismo. Del mismo? De converse, conversation. No, you are not going to create a conversation. You are going to fill out a complaint form. No van a hacer una conversación. Van a, a completar una forma de, com de complaint. Una forma de quejas, que es lo que acabamos de hacer. Okay. Cualquiera. Yes. For example, Celia okay. was, selling, was talking about a printer, right? You have a lot of, a lot of uh, equipment that you put yesterday that had problems, right? You are okay. going to choose only one. Yes, Concepción? Vamos a obviarlo al principio o siempre lo vamos a usar? No, you're going to use it. You're going to use it. Mm -hmm. Now, my work terminal. Yes. So what are you going to do? Even though you are going to fill out the form only, remember to ask the proper questions, right? What is the phone number? What is the work address? What is the email, right? Esas preguntas no las van a escribir, pero tienen que conversarlas con sus compañeros al momento de estar llenando el complaint form, okay? Because I will ask you the questions. I will ask you the questions. So let's start right now. Did you copy the example? Yes, teacher. Okay, very well then. Now that you have copied the example, I am going to put you here in groups, right? So we can start working. But first, just let me call the attendance very quick. I think it's a Okay. Let me ver la asistencia. Por favor, enciendan sus cámaras y las tienen apagadas. Thank you very much. Okay. I have here um, Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present. Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Present, teacher. Asalia Melanie Guardado por ti. Present. Thank you very much. Eh, Carmen Lisset, not here. Celia Jasmine Castro de Chévez. Present. Very good. Daniela Mirka Sandoval Avilés. Present. Thank you. Emerson Javier Rivera Rojas. Present. Thank you so much, Emerson. Let me see here. One moment. 
Eh, Juan Josué Hernández Hernández. Present. Leida Susana Sorto Cuadra. Present. Luis Armando Ventura Campos. María Concepción Cerón Jovel. Present. Pedrina Iliana Gómez Ortega. Present teacher. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Gabriel Alvarenga Ventura. Sandra Gladys Méndez de Barahona. Present teacher. Jennifer Abidaí López Escoto. Okay. Now, we are going to continue right now with the activity. Remember, we are going to fill out the complaint form. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer. Fill out the complaint form. Let's go ahead and work in groups. Give me one moment right here. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Select your groups. Select the group, select the group. Select your groups, please. Y con qué edad Tell me if you have questions. Sí, teacher. ¿Ah? Solo eh, quería confirmar. Eh, la misma forma vamos a llenar, ¿verdad? Solamente que con qué datos vamos a llenarla. Con datos que nosotros nos inverte, inventemos. Yes, and the problems is that you already have from the classes. From the classes of this week, you have written a lot of problems. Ya uh -huh. escribieron los problemas que tienen con los equipos. Durante la semana ya escribieron un montón. Uh -huh. So you can use those. Eso van a poder utilizar. ¿Cual, cualquiera de esos. Cualquiera de esos. Okay. Que ustedes crean más convenientes. Exacto. Ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, the name, you can invent the name or you can use yours. Gabriela, Sandra, and so on. Ok. Ok. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. See you in a moment. Thank you. Lado. Estamos en el el teléfono. Vaya teléfono. Okay. Vaya, hagamos el teléfono. Vaya, ponemos my word terminal. Eh, teléfono. Telefone. Telefón. Ajá. Es que lo estábamos diciendo, ¿cómo se escribía el teléfono? Ok, ok. <ríe> oh, qué horror, ¿verdad? Decir teléfono. <ríe> y después se le va a olvidar. Telefón. Telefón. ¿Tienes alguna pregunta? Um, um, for the moment, no. For the moment, no. Solo, okay. No, solo vamos a buscar el problema. Nada okay. Más. Okay. See you in a moment. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, what a... <laughs> uh -huh. ¿Qué otro me dijo? No, 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 sigo esperando el número. Seven ah, one. Ah, chiste. Seven one five. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eight. Ajá. Uh -huh. Nine. Nine. Eh, one. <laughs> uh -huh. Faltan dos. Eh, um, I didn't make book five. Five, six. Okay. 
Número más raro, vaya, pero no importa. Inventado. <risa> ok, eh, ahorita sería Word from Nom. ¿Any questions right now? Uh, uh, teacher, en la dirección está bien a uh, purple, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Morado, <laughs> in English, purple, purple, purple. purple building, uh, purple building, como edificio morado. Building, purple buildings. Purple, purple buildings. buildings. Okay, purple buildings. Okay, teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Do you have any questions about the exercise? Um, ahorita estamos empezando, teacher. No, teacher. Okay, I'll see, I'll see you in a moment. Then. Okay. Uh, la, la auxilio, vamos a decir. <laughs> yes. Sí, me escriben okay. ahorita. Voy a otro okay, grupo teacher. entonces. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, teacher. Thank you. Bueno, terminó la idea. Yo sería el 2256, mm -hmm. 4616. Okay. okay. In English, what's that? How do you say that in English? Yes. Okay, how do you say it in English? Uh, Four, two, six, six, four, six, one, six. Okay. Okay. Y ahora, Aster, under. La tuya. Street address. A street ajá. Uh -huh. Do you have any questions? Eh, no te... lo estamos, lo estamos, estamos haciendo lo similar. Uh -huh. Ok. La dirección suya, Daniel. Eh, Cacerío Kilo 5. Ay, en inglés es como se escribe. No, Cacerío Kilo 5 está bien porque es eh, dirección. La ah, cuando okay. son direcciones. Ah, Cuando son bueno, direcciones, casi... sí. Ah, ok. Es normal en Spanish, ¿verdad? Kilo, kilo cinco. Yes, sería. Ok. Ok. If you don't have any questions, voy con otro grupo. I see you in a moment. Ok. Ok. Sí, Vaya, la mía es... Daniel. Dígame. La mía sería... Es primera calle Poniente. Primera calle Poniente. Uh -huh. 85 Avenida Norte, Colonia Escalón. No. Ok. Vaya, hoy vamos con San Salvador. Sí, sí. San Salvador. En mi caso es Acajutla. Ah, Cajutla, a ah, Cajutla, ok, ok, ok. Luego sería el INE, sería el INE, INE, Ander, sería I Gómez, I Gómez, uh -huh. arroba gmail.com. Y Gómez at gmail.com. Punto com. Ajá. Sí. Punto com. Ok. Mío, Vaya ahora el problema. El mío el problema ahí, es... Daniela Milcar. Ah, arroba Daniel. arroba gmail.com. Daniel. Um...
Okay. So, did you fill out your complaint form? Yes. Okay. Angie says yes. Very good. So, let's see. I am going to put the complaint form here on the screen. One person, one of you is going to ask the questions and the other person is going to answer. Okay. One is going to ask and the other is going to answer. Uno va a preguntar y el otro va a responder con la información que ya tiene escrito. Okay? So, we are going to start with Emerson and Leida Susana. Okay? Emerson and Leida. Ustedes deciden quién pregunta y quién responde. Okay, teacher. Eh, si gusta, Leida, que pregunte y yo respondo. Okay, very well. I am going to put the complaint form. Usted ya la tiene llena, se está vacía. Solo como yes. adorno. Okay. Deme un moment. Le doy un moment. Okay. Get ready. Listo. Okay. Listo, Leida. Voy. Eh, mm, Nave of... Nave of complaint. Complainant. Date. March 25th, 2021. Home phone number. 7158918. Five, six. Workshop number. Two, four, four, eight, zero, five, two, eight. Uh, what is the street address? Residencial Primavera, Seven Street. Yeah. And city? San Salvador. What is your email address? El sorto dot one two at gmail dot com. Complete the information, describe the nature of the complaint, even leo <laughs> Ask the question. Remember the question that the guy makes in the conversation, right? Describe the problem. This, please describe, please the, describe problem. the problem. Uh, my computer yesterday worked and in good conditions and now it does not turn on. Okay. Very good. Very good. Get them an applause. Very good. They fill out the form. That's great. Thank you so much. Now we have Leda and Emerson. They are done. Right? They are done. I would like to hear right now Angie. And I think it's Angie and Celia, right? Okay, teacher, Celia. <laughs> Thank you, Emerson. Thank you, Leida. Okay, me dice si usted hace las preguntas, obvio. Uh, Como usted quiera. <laughs> ah, pues pregúnteme. <laughs> Le pregunto, okay. Sí. Uh, complaint for name of complaint num. Jasmine Castro. Okay. March 20, 21st, 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 perdón. Okay. Um, street address? Street, la mascota, number. Oh, uh, excuse me, uh, um, home phone number? 
7600864. What phone number? 2264-5858. Pass number? No. No, okay, okay. A street address? A street, la mascota, number 200. Okay, email address? Jasmine Castro 3 arroba hotmail.com Okay. Uh, uh -huh. What is the problem, Miss uh, Jasmine? I have problem with my internet. I need more internet capacity. Okay. Okay. I need more internet capacity. Repeat capacity. Capacity. Very well. Capacity. Excellent job. Excellent job. And um, Angie and Celia, let's listen to Josue, Josue and Alexis, right? Let's listen to you. Yes. Yes. Okay. Alexis. Yes. Name of complainant. Um, Juan Jose Hernandez. Uh, date? March 0, 1, uh, 2, 0, 2, 1. Home phone number? Uh, 2, 2, 1, uh, 7, 9, uh, 5, uh, seven five. Okay. Work for number. Seven seven four nine 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 Fax. eight nine. Fax number. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, street address. Um, for nine Avenue. A uh, number uh, seven six four. Uh, city. Santa Tecla. Email address. Uh, yes, uh, Hernandez at gmail punto com. Complaint information. Yes, uh, my phone. Upper in complete the victory. Also, it reset my time. Uh, no low and battery. Battery. Signature of person marking complaint. Um, Alexis Fuentes. Date. Uh, March uh, zero uh, one two zero one. And zero two one. Okay, okay, good. Uh, thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Josue. Alexis, uh, sorry, Josue, how do you ask a question if you want to know a person's name? If you want to know my name, what is the question that you're going to name, that you're going to make? What is your name? Exactly. Very good. And if you want to know my email? What is your email address? Thank you so much. And city? What is your city? Very good. Thank you so much. I just need to check that you remember how to make questions. Okay. Okay. Now let's listen to Sandra. Sandra, who was your partner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quiero ver, no me recuerdo el nombre. I don't remember. I don't remember. ¿Quién me ayude? ¿Quién es? Hi, teacher. Hi. Ajá. ¿De ti? Ok. 
Si quieres Question. le pregunto, Sandrita. Ok. okay. Um, name of complain, complainant. Sandra Mendes. Date. Uh, March. Uh, what is the date? Remember, you're asking questions. What is your name? What is the date? Okay. What is, what is the date? March 25th, uh, Tuesday, uh, 2021. Okay. 2021. 2021. Okay. What's, uh, what's your home phone number? 7393-2123. Okay, what is your work phone number? My phone number is uh, two five zero two two three two two. Okay, uh, what is your street address? Las Las Amapolas Avenue. Number uh, three, four, two, one, strict Los Sabetos. Okay. Thank you. Uh, what is your city? City is San Salvador. Thank you. What is your email address? Sandra Dat Mendez. Uh, Gmail.com. Thank you. Describe the problem, please. My problem is uh, my photocopy machine was uh, paper is too the yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, very well. So we have a complaint form. Only that. Very good, very good. Thank you so much. Now, we just fill out a complaint form. That's, uh, those are all the things that you need to put on the complaint form, right? And the, those are very important things. The name, where you live, the phone number, the work phone number, right, as well. Now, we're going to continue working here with another activity. Here, we have another type of conversation, okay? And I want you to pay attention to these words here in bold, lo que está en negrito, okay? This conversation is on page 47 or 48 on your book. And we have Max and Joe. Max and Joe, please listen to me so we can practice the conversation, okay? Max, uh, give me a minute. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max, my name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received a new printer and I need help setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an old type page MX30. Okay, first, make sure that the power port is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, Click on complete install. Okay. We have there the conversation. What are they doing in the conversation? ¿De qué se trata la conversación? <laughs> what are they doing? What are they talking about? Let me make this bigger. Eh, ¿Ah? Problema de instalación. Okay, they are having problems with the installation. 
Installation of what, Azalia? What type of installation? Uh, CD. New printer. Chequeo. For the new printer, okay. Oh, okay. Yes, for the new printer, very good. So they are having problems with the installation, right? Received it says, new we printer. received the new printer. Aquí está que lo que recibieron, okay? And I need help setting it up. Set up, what was set up? Eh, Luna le dije que significaba set up. ¿Qué significa set up? En el chat, en el chat. ¿Será? Después. Después, no. <risa> Configurar. Ah. Ok. We need help sí. setting it up. Sí. Set up what? The printer. Sí. Ok, very good. What is, what is the model of the printer? What is the model of the printer? It's a uh, multi-pay multi-print X30. Very good. And multi-page max sharing. Very good. That's that's the type of printer. What is what is the first thing that this person has to do to check that the printer is okay? ¿Qué es lo primero que debe hacer? ¿Qué es lo que le está diciendo el representante acá que debe hacer? Let me check. May. Make, make sure, make sure that the power cord is the full gate. Make, make sure that the power cord. Make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Right? That is the first thing that they have to do. Right? Very good. This is thing number one. Okay. This is thing number one they have to do very well. And what is number two? What is number two? What do they have to do next? Check that the installation CD Check is in the tray. Very good. Check that the installation CD is, in, is on the tray. Let me see in the tray very good that's the other thing they have to do very well and the third one <clears throat> is the most men on Anders. Hmm? Tray. what else they have to and do there's some on steamen on spares on the screen once the menu appears right they have to click on click on complete, complete install. install complete install so we have number two right and number three okay three things that they have to do now how does this person is asking for the things look at the words that we have in in bold lo que tenemos en negrita could you please could you help me please? Could you tell me the model? Can you hold on a second please? Okay, what am I saying in this? ¿De qué se tratan esas preguntas? ¿Qué, qué estoy haciendo? No la traducción. ¿Qué es lo que, que, que quieren decir? ¿Podría usted ayudarme por favor? Okay, okay. Is that formal or informal? What do you think? Formal, formal, formal. 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 Uh, formal. But call is other form to can bear. Yes, could and can is the same, but in different in different uh, formality, in different formality level. Now we're going to talk about could and can. Now, do we understand the conversation? ¿Vemos cómo se va llevando a cabo la conversación? Al inicio solo llegamos hasta acá, que tenían un problema. Luego describimos el problema. Ahora, ¿qué, qué más tiene esta conversación? ¿Tiene? A solution. Excellent. Excellent. It has a solution. And for, and for giving a solution, 
we just give a step. Okay, if it's something that is technical, we always give a step. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, finally, right? We always give a step, a step. Now, please take a screenshot of this conversation as it is, right? As it is, so we can work later. Para que se recuerden qué es lo que va, en qué orden pueden decir las cosas, okay? Take, take note. Can I continue? Puedo borrar todo esto? Yes, teacher. Yes? <coughs> yes. Okay. Now, we continue here with could. I'm going to show you something with the use of could right, that we're going to do. Okay. Can you see my computer? Can you see my computer? No? Maybe? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. yes teacher. Now, we are going to use right now what we call modal verse, okay? Modal verse are this type of auxiliary verse that we use with other verse to add more meaning to the verb. Right? After the modal, we use the infinitive form without two. Okay, so what are we doing right now? I want you to pay attention to this. Right? First of all, we are using modal verbs. Okay, modal verbs. Right? They are a type of auxiliary. A type of auxiliary verb. That's what they are. And we need to pay attention with this, right? Because after the modal verb, we use the infinitive form of the verb without two. Now, what are examples of models? Examples of models that we're going to work with are could can and would. These are models, okay? Estos son modales, right? Son los auxiliares de modo that we are going to use, right? Can, could, and would, right? Now, it says here that we use the models with infinitive form without two. Models are not used with the auxiliary verb do, okay? To form the negative, we add not after the model to ask questions, we put the model in front of the subject. Okay, that's the explanation that we need to pay attention to, right? They are not used with the auxiliary verb do to make negatives. We add not after the model. We put the model in front of the subject. Okay? That is the basic explanation that we're going to have or models. Let me show you here right, what we're going to do. When we have models, okay. What are the models that I just mentioned? Can you tell me the models? What are the models? Good, can, and would, okay. All of them are going to be for formal, requests or offers, okay? That is the meaning. Use, el uso que le vamos a dar, formal requests or offers, okay? Can, could, can, could, and would. Okay, that's the use that we're going to do. Now, first of all, right? We are going to use the subject pronouns. What are the subject pronouns that we can use in English? Uh, Concepcion? I. I. You. 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 He. He. She. She. 
It is we we they they wonderful very good so we have these subject pronouns very well right now we're going to use this and we're going to create our subject our sentences like this we will use a subject right plus the model plus the verb plus the complement complement okay that is going to be the form to create a basic sentence okay subject plus model plus verb plus complement now what is going to be an example tell me the subject pronoun that you like the best uh, gabriel he he He. Now, we're going to use the model could. He could, he could what? Tell me a verb that you remember. Write. Say. He could write, uh -huh. he could write what? In the desk. Huh? Or in the book. In the, the book. book. On the book. On, on the, book. the book. He could write on the book. Okay, very good. Now, this is going to be the structure. Esta es la estructura. Estamos bien. Subject plus modal plus verb plus complement. Ahora una pregunta. Cuando tengo esa estructura, subject verb complement, estoy diciendo en esta estructura en general un request, de una, un offer, o estoy pidiendo algo. Estoy pidiendo algo, estoy está pidiendo algo. algo. ¿Ah? Me está pidiendo algo. Ok. What am I asking there? ¿Qué estoy pidiendo? Como que si le pidiera eh. permiso a otra persona. Ok. He could write on the book. Ok. He could write on the book. Exactly. We're asking, he could write on the book. Right. We're asking a request. In this case, it's an offer. He could write, Gabriel could write on the book. Estoy ofreciendo algo que Gabriel puede escribir en el libro. He could write on the book. Is, it, is the offer no it's formal an offer, request? Not a request. No request. Exactly. It's an offer, not a request. Right? Porque aquí no estoy pidiendo nada. He could write on the book. But, but, uh, I can see a uh, uh, write the report. I I. Si yo lo quiero pedir. Then we make, we make a question. Okay, we make a question, and in this case, we can make a a question. It could be with would, or with, for example, would you write the report on the book, Gabriel? Would you write a report on the book? Or your boss can tell you, could you write, could you write the report on the book? Could you write the report on the book for tomorrow? This one with could is usually for requests that your boss is going to make, okay? This one is also formal, right? But it's more polite, it's more sweet, more For, for peers. For, yeah, for peers, exactly, for peers. Very good. So this is how you make a request. And this is how you offer something. Also, you can offer with a question. Remember that we were with Wood yesterday. Would you, would you go to the party with me? Would you check the sales yes. report for me? Right? So we can make this question, right? Now, remember that the verb here with the subject, modal, and verb, even though it's, uh, it is he, she, or it, 
It doesn't make any change, okay? You're not going to change the verb. The verb is going to be in the same form all the time. Va a estar en su forma base todo el tiempo el verbo. No importa si es he, she, or it. Aquí no lo cambiamos, okay? Aquí no lo vamos a cambiar. Todos los subject pronouns van a tener la misma forma, okay? Now, do we understand this part with the use of could, can, and would? Yes. Okay. Let's sí, continue. Sí, yes. Significan lo mismo cool y would. No. Significan lo mismo cool y would. No. They they don't they don't have the same meaning. They both both are models. Okay. Both are models, but they are not the same. Could and would, right? They are not the same. In this case, yeah. pretty much could is used to say that an action or event is possible, right? And would is something that is possibly not going to happen sometime. So could, for, for that's why could is used for, from your, uh, for your boss, right? Could you please write the report? So jefe no le va a decir, would you write the report? No, porque le está pagando. Le voy a decir, could you write the report, cool. please? They could will use could. Escribirlo. Mm -hmm. Exacto. Puede escribir el reporte, por favor. Right? Could you write the report? Right. And would is going to be a little bit different because it's softer. It can be used with peers. Right? And we can say, ah, oh, yes, he will write it. I will write it. I would write it. Sí, lo voy a escribir. Pero no estamos seguros que va a pasar. No estamos seguros que va a pasar. Okay. Usually we use it in situations that may happen or may not. It's an imaginary situation. Right? Now, let's go ahead and see one exercise that I want you to do. Let me see. Well, in the book, in the book, before we continue, look at the examples. We have the examples here, right? With could and can, right? Let's take a look at the examples. Uh, Sandrita, can you read the two questions? Sandrita? Hey. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. You could pass me that plate. Could you? Can I have a taste? A taste? Taste. Taste, very good, very taste. good. Can I have a taste? Now, in this case, right, when we are using can, we can also use can, right, for our request. But this can is going to be less formal. This can is less formal. I can write a report. I can write a report. Si sí, estás escribiendo lo mismo, sí. Pero lo que sucede es el nivel de formalidad que tiene cada una de las palabras. With can. I can ask you, can you give me your address? Not formal. But if I say, could you give me your address, please? That is formal. Can you write a report? Su jefe le va a decir, can you write a report? Cuando ya esté enojado, o en realidad no, 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 hay un nivel de formalidad, right? So they will ask, can you write a report? Yes. Okay. Yes, you will say yes. Porque ya le está diciendo hasta el tono de voz ha cambiado y muy, 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 es muy probable que la persona esté eh, un, está hablando en un tono invitado. Okay. But we also use can for talking to our classmates, our co-workers. Hey, Sandra, eh, can you give me some food for today? Or can you give me some money? Can you lend me five dollars? Can you give me a ride to my work? 
Can you give me a ride to my house? Right, we can use can. Can, como no es tan formal, lo podemos usar con nuestros coworkers, con nuestros classmates, right? That's when we can use can, right? And could is way more formal, right? So okay. let's take a look at the examples one more time. Right, look at this. Hey, you couldn't pass me that play, could you? Can I have that taste? Can I have a taste of your food? Puedo probar tu comida. Can I have a taste of your food? And also, right, we can use can, and listen to this. Can, we can use it mostly in simple present. Right? And could, aparte de usarlo para Para cosas formales, también lo pueden ver eh, to be used in the simple past. Okay. Now, let me show you one, one thing from the book. Look at this chart from the book. Okay. In the book, they are asking questions, right? They are asking questions here. They're asking questions here and we have, could you write these reports, please? We see that the example, it's formal, right? The modal verb could is used for polite and formal requests. Could you write these reports, please? Could you deliver these letters today, please? And we have the structure, could, plus subject, plus verb, plus complement. And then we have the use of can for informal requests. To ask informal requests. Can you write these reports? Can you help deliver these letters today, please? Okay. ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia de los dos? ¿Cuál va a ser la diferencia? ¿Cuál es la diferencia de los dos al final? The form. Eh, we use we use call and can. Could and can. Could. Could mm -hmm. is a polite form. Mm -hmm. And can is informal. And can is informal. Okay, okay, very good. Could is formal, can informal. Very good. The scenario, the context in which you're going to use it is going to be different. Okay. Now, with this in mind, with this in mind, we are going to write right now two examples. One with could and one with can. Okay. Let's write the two examples at this moment, please. Could you please write two examples? <laughs> one with could and another one with can. Did you finish? Did you finish? Yes, teacher. Okay, can you read your examples? My examples. 
-hmm. Okay. Could you pay the dinner? Okay. Could you pay the dinner? Okay. And can you call the clients? Okay. Very good. Could you pay the dinner? Can you call the clients? Very good. Your examples are correct. Thank you. Someone else? Could you open the door, please? Excellent. Uh -huh. Can and you see this report, please? Can you see these reports, please? Reports? Reports? Please? Okay. Please. Very good. Very good. Could you call the client, please? Can you, um, can you call the client, please? Okay, very good. Listen to Celia's example. Celia, read one more time. Lealos. Okay. Could you call the client, please? Mm -hmm. um, can you call the client, please? Okay, very good. Could you call the clients, please? Can you call the clients, please? Very good. Your examples are correct. The difference will be the context in which you're going to use them. Very good, Celia. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, cuando eh, nosotros usemos would, could, eh, por ejemplo, eh, puede ser cuando no conocemos a alguien y es por primera vez que... Eh, En, en, en español, normalmente, cuando uno no conoce a alguien, lo trata de usted o algo uh -huh. similar, vea. Uh -huh. Entonces, siempre podemos ocupar este tipo de formas, cold, wool, eh, en ese tipo de contexto, cuando es por primera vez que conocemos a alguien, uh -huh. ¿es lo normal o, o cómo es? It's not, it's not only because you know the person, the, you have met the person for the first time, but because of the formality. You can, you, you, you can know someone for a long time, right? But for example, my boss, I have known my boss uh, like for three years, right? But I'm not going to use can with him. I'm going to use could, right? Because he is my boss, right? And if you know someone for the first time, but if someone is your, Coworker, you might want to use can. Okay. Va a depender de usted, porque en el caso de, de, de la cultura americana es totalmente distinto, ¿no? Es como que no, es, no, es, no tiene nada que ver con la cultura salvadoreña. ¿No? Okay. En el caso de la cultura americana, eh, casi siempre todos todo se tratan eh, los coworkers, aunque sea la primera vez que se conocen, se tratan con el mismo nivel de formalidad, right? So they are going to use can most of the time, right? Y la figura usted no existe en, 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 el, en el idioma inglés. Solamente existe you, right? Que es tú, right? So no existe esa, esa formalidad, sino que existen jerarquías, right? Rangos que van jefes, los dueños, and so on, right? In Camino de Salvador, se existe usted, tú, vos, right? I, there is a difference. But in American English, there's no difference. All of them, they talk about each other with you. Entonces, ah, lo, okay. vamos, lo vamos a utilizar, formal requests, como jerarquías. Okay? Okay. Good uh, question, Ricardo. Now, let's continue working. Do you have more examples with this? Yes. Okay, Ansalia? Um, called you work tonight? Uh-huh, okay. Called you wait in this office? Okay, could you work in the office? Okay, good. Uh, can you play in the park, please? Okay. Can, can you rain tomorrow? 
Okay, very good. Finish. Very good. Thank you, Asaga. Your examples are correct. Now, just remember to open your mouth when you speak, okay? Now, anybody else wants to share their examples? Nobody? Nadie más? Okay. Let's continue. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Y no existe alguna modificación cuando vamos a expresar tiempos. How? Por ejemplo. Could you write the report right now, please? Uh, Could no, you no deliver? Nada. No. Could you okay. deliver this? For example, here, if I have uh, the word today, look, right? Could you deliver these letters today? Could you deliver these letters tomorrow morning, please? Can you write these reports right now, Josue, please? Okay, no, so if we, if we ask, uh, if we add time, time phrases, it's, there's no problem, okay? Puede agregar las, las time phrases, pero hay time phrases que no se van a poder utilizar, okay? Could you write these reports every day? Maybe, right? But the, the form, the structure here is going to be the same. Remember that the time phrases go at the end. Esta van al final, okay, las time phrases, at the end, okay? Now, let's continue. Good question. Okay. Yes? One question. Uh -huh. um, Se puede utilizar los dif uh, different pronouns? Yes, all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of them. Todos. Todos los pronouns los pueden utilizar para hacer cualquier, eh, cualquier tipo de, de oración. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, for the order uh, is correct. Um, las dos. Para dar una orden, se pueden usar las dos. Yes. To make a request. No son órdenes, son requests, son solicitudes. To make a request. To make a request, we can use both. To, to give orders, we use commands. Para hacer las órdenes, utilizamos commands. Write a report. Write a letter. Check the printer. Call the, call the clients. Para eso son los, los, los commands. Pero acá estamos haciendo solicitudes. Request, solicitud. Okay, very good, very good. You're quick with your questions. Azalia, Concepcion, Jose, Gabriel, thank you. Anybody else with questions? Nobody? No, okay. No. Continue, we're gonna do an exercise right now. Okay, well, I have more examples here, right? And look at the look at what it says here. Can and could are used differently. Can is less polite than could, right? Can you read the first bullet here, Emerson? Can. Sorry, teacher. Can you read the first bullet? Can. Can is use it to make basic requests from a friend or coworker. It is often used for a small thing. Mm -hmm. Very good, look at this. Can is used to make basic requests, right? Basic requests from a friend or a coworker, right? It's used for small things, right? Can you pass the use? Can you turn off the air conditioning? These are examples of daily conversations that we can have with a coworker. And could, can you please read the information about could, Gabriel?
Gabriel, are you there? Hola, hola, hola. Sí, teacher. Eh, me decía. Please read the information of Kuth. Paul is more polite than Kent, but has the same fun functions. Mm -hmm. Read the examples, please. Could you pass the juice, please? Could you help me with my homework, Mr. Johnson? Very good. Now we have, could you pass the juice, please? It's the same example as uh, Celia did. Celia did the same examples, but in one of them, she just can, and in the other one, she just could, right? So look at this, we have the same. Can you pass the juice? Could you pass the juice, please? Could you help me with my homework, Mr. Johnston? Right, so we have there the use of can and could. Please take this as a screenshot so we can remember how we're going to work right now with the exercise. Tell me when you finish the screenshot. Yes. Yes. yes? Okay, very well. We're going to do an exercise right now. First, we're going to write five questions that your boss may ask you next week, right? Since your boss is going to ask you this, right? You're going to use the questions, use could for the questions, okay? Not can. You're going to use could. What could be an example? For example, my boss, next week, he's going to ask me, could you send me, this is going to be tomorrow at night. Sylvia, could you send me the students' scores from this week? No, I need to know this. Could you send me the students' score for this week? This is one question that my boss is going to ask me, right? What is one question that your boss is going to ask you next week? Tell me one question. What is your boss going to ask you, Ana, Ana Cordova? Um, could you send me? The sales report. The sales report, okay. Could you send me the sales reports? Very good, excellent job. Asalia, what, what do you think your boss is going to tell you? Can you send me? But don't you send only, use another verb. Ustedes se pueden muchos verbos. ¿Qué otro verbo puede, puede ser su jefe? Can you? Think about Please. one example, huh? Could cool. could you could you write? Could you write the the report or? The reports of what? Oh, 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 book. To report in the office. Okay, could you write the reports in the office? Okay, very good. So we have another one. What do you think your boss is going to ask you, Concepcion? Um. Could you clean the office right now? Could you? Clean. Could you clean? The office right now. You clean the office right now. Very well. Alexis, what do you think your boss is going to tell you? Yes. Uh... Could you teach? Hmm? Uh, teach. How do you spell that? Teach the poem. Teach the poem. In the chat, we have to learn. 
porque no sé cómo se, se pronuncia en sí. Could you teach? Uh -huh. Teach, teach, uh, report. Could you teach the reports? I'm um, employer. Huh? Uh, a, a employer, employees. Could you teach the report to the employees? Yes, employees. Employees, okay. Could you teach the reports? Okay, now we have five examples here, right? Five questions that your boss may ask you. Now, these are examples for everyone. Now, I want you to write your own examples. Ahora ustedes, cada uno, va a escribir sus propios ejemplos. We're going to do that individually, okay? Let's do it individually. Write your five questions, right? Five questions. Let me put again the question so you can take a screenshot of your possible answers. Right, five questions. And we're going to put, of course, the questions in the chat once you finish so we can have more examples. I'm gonna put them here in the chat so you can see them in the chat as well, right? And right now you are going to write five different questions, each one of you, okay? About five things that your boss may ask you. Don't forget to turn on your cameras if you can, right? Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Tell me if you have questions. If you don't understand yet the instruction, let me know. How do you say uh, activations for sales in, in the How market? Do, how do you say it in Spanish? Uh, activación de ventas. Como impulso, eso, impulso. Impulse? Marketing. Ajá, impulso de ventas. Impulso de ventas. Uh -huh. Como sentido. cuando usted llega, eso, como cuando usted llega a un lugar y le dicen, mire, este, tenemos esa oferta, le gustaría eh, llevársela. Promotion. Ah, promotion. Promotion, Impulsar. offers. Uh -huh. Oh. Yes, but impulsar is only for Spanish. Impulsar. Because in English is promotion. Promotion. You're promoting something. Promote, you're promoting a product. You promote a product. Promotion is better. Promotion is a noun, right? Promote, for example, if you are promoting a product, promote a product, promover. Está promoviendo un producto o un servicio. Promote the sales, promote a service.
Could you prepare the meeting room? Okay. A spelling, a spelling, Celia. A spelling, meeting room. Meeting room. Okay. Remember, there are five examples. We have five minutes to finish. Teacher, organize is a verb. Organize, yes. Yeah. Yes, organize is a verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Francisco take this book okay very good but is that a question that your boss is going to ask you Asalia eso es algo que le va a preguntar su jefe yes porque normalmente son los Friday Okay, let me check the answers. Could you prepare the meeting room? It's okay. Could Francisco take this book? Could you deliver the checks on Monday? Celia, on Monday? Could you work in this, my taxes? For, could you work on my, on my taxes for today, please? On my taxes for today. Pero pues si usted le pregunta eso, Asalia, ¿cómo le va a preguntar que alguien haga algo más? No entiendo. Es que tiene que ser cosas que le pregunten a usted, que requests que le hagan a usted. Solicitudes que le estén diciendo a usted qué es lo que debe hacer. Ahí me está diciendo que alguien más lo va a hacer. Uh -huh. Could he turn off the radio? I don't know. Could you request... Could you work the objectives of the year? Of the year. Could you compare the production from January and February? From January and February. Could you request solvency? ¿A qué se refiere con solvency, Sandrita? Solvencia. Okay. Solvency. Mm. Solicitar solvencia que se, que se pone. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The thing is that solvency in, in it means to have uh, not to owe any money. Cuando usted ha pagado todo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pide solvencia. Okay, de esa solvencia está, está, está hablando. Sí, so ajá. Okay. Could you send the place list where we will do the promotions? Yes, that's correct. Could you finish the report? Could you send me the sales funnel? The sales funnel, like the funnel? Ana Gabriela, funnel? Could you write the inventory for tomorrow? Could you organize the meeting? For yes, the teacher, funnel. funnel. Could you answer the call and could you answer the call and messages? Very good, Leida. Maria Concepcion, don't forget the question mark at the end. Can you go to work in San Bartolo? Can you come to work at 10 p.m.? Can you send the toner support? Can you order lunch at 2 p.m.? Amilka, all of them are perfect, but you have to use could. Could you turn? Could you write straight sales reports, please? Very good. Could you turn work in the office? What do you want to say, Azalia? 
Could you finish the meeting? Could you speak with the providers? Could you clean the workplace? Very good, those are perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Eh, el suyo, Azalia, ¿qué quiere decir el suyo? Regresa. Could you send me monthly promotions? Could you send me digital marketing site? Very good, Ana Gabriela. No entiendo, no entiendo. Okay, now your examples are, are good. Would you send me email sales report? Yes, your example is good, Sandrita. Pero está usando eh, would, no could. Ahorita estamos usando could. Could you organize the meeting with the employees? Yes, I could. Very good, Emerson. Es lo mismo, eh, Sandrita. Salia tiene buenos los ejemplos con he y con Francisco. Están bien los ejemplos, pero no responden a lo que se le está pidiendo. Could you check the okay. purchases? Ángela, Ángela de Jesús, purchases. Ya es una palabra que usted debe de conocer porque ya le hemos trabajado casi todos los días. Could you deliver the basic baskets? Could you, could you forget the fill and form? Mm, I don't understand number one and number two, Alexis. Could you buy the provider? Uy, eso me suena soborno. Could you call the other supervisor to talk about the new trade marketing? To talk about. The new trade marketing, Gabriel. Okay, now, could you clean the desk tomorrow? Okay, very good. Very good. Thank you, Sandrita. Pedrina, I didn't see your examples. Ni uno suyo vi. Ni uno suyo vi tampoco, Josué. Pero me dijo que estaba bueno. Ya me lo enseñó aquí. Sí, ahí está. Dice... No lo sé. Could you clean... No, puse eso. Could you finish the meeting? Que si ya terminó la reunión. Oh, could you finish the meeting? Uh -huh. Sí. Okay, yes, I see. Very good. Now, we're going to continue here with another written exercise. This is going to be easy. You're going to match right now the definitions that I am going to give you. Could you sketch all the meeting? Yes. Can you check the indicator cells from yesterday? From yesterday. Could you arrive at six? Así me dijo mi jefe. Could you arrive at 6 a.m.? No, Lady. No va a pasar. Okay. We have here this exercise. Look at the exercise with conversations that we can have right, on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? We have sentences that they are talking about the future, okay? For example, I am going to Starbucks. I am going to Starbucks. The request is, could you please get me a cup of coffee? Could you please get me a cup of coffee? That is the request, okay? So, I have something that I am going to do in the future and another person is asking me to do something for them. So I have letter A, the numbers here, and we're going to match them with the letters here. So, let me see. Oh, se me fue uno, permítanme. Chips for me, very good. Now, we're going to work here. We're going to match them. What do you think would be the answer if it says, I am going to the library. Voy a la biblioteca. I am going to the library. What could be the matching for this? Could you lend, uh, restart, lend, lend, eh, verdad? lend mm -hmm. my, my book? Or... Okay, but the answer is here. 
Look for one of the answers here. Aquí están Could las you respuestas. please return this book for me? Could you please return this book for me? Very good. That's going to be the, the second answer that I am going to put here. Could you please dictate the sentence, please? Return mm -hmm. this book for me. This book for me. Very good. That's the answer. All right. So what are we doing right now? We're just going to match the situations with the request. Okay. Estas son situaciones que van a pasar en el futuro. Y esos son los requests que queremos hacer para que peguen. Okay. Now we have the other. I am going to our English class. I am going to the kitchen. I'm going to London. I'm going to the vegetable market. I'm going to McDonald's. I'm going to the post office. I'm going to pet to a pet shop. I'm going home. Right? All of them for things that I will do in the future. Now, remember we're using here present progressive for future and we're mixing it with a request. We're going to do this individually, individually. So please take a screenshot and let's start working. Did you take the screenshot? Yes. Okay, so let's start working. We're going to do that individually. Please let me know if you have a question about this exercise. Dígame si tienen alguna pregunta lo que estamos haciendo, por favor. Teacher, uh... mm -hmm. You can show you the. No sé cómo se dice. Imagen. La que puso. Screenshot. 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 Okay. Yes. Uh, give me one moment. Thanks. You're welcome. Todos ya tienen su screenshot? Yes. Yes? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. Díganme si no entienden algún vocabulario, si no entienden las respuestas o algo. Tell me, tell me, tell me.
Did you finish? No, teacher. No, teacher. No, no. Not yet, okay. For my work tomorrow. Huh? <laughs> okay. Es que son las 9.51, teacher. Todavía hay nueve minutos. Uh, un montón de cosas pueden pasar en nueve minutos. <laughs> <laughs> ya va. I am going to send you. I am going to send you a dictionary right now, okay? You might want to use it later. Tell me when you finish. Okay, let me check some of them. Some of them at least. Well, number three, I'm going to our English class. What would you have for I'm going to our English class? Could you please tell our teacher that I will be late? Very nice. Could you please tell our teacher I will be late? Very good. Number four, I'm going to the kitchen. I'm going could, to the kitchen. Could you please could you wash please the dishes? Wash the dishes? <laughs> no, okay. Yes, no. that is correct. Hey. <laughs> Can you please hey. wash the dishes? Exactly. Yes, Gabriel? Uh, I'm going to kitchen. Can you please watch the dishes? Yes, I'm going to the kitchen. 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 Cocina. Cocina. Kitchen. La cocina los trastes. Ah, the dishes. <laughs> hey, había entendido. Dishes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Say I cannot have a plan. Oh, um, no. Could you please wash the dishes? No, I can't. I'm going to London. I'm going to London. Uh, could you please, please call me when you home? get home? Could you please call me when you get home? Very good. Could you please call me when you get home? I'm going to London. Very good. I'm going to the vegetable market. 
Could you please buy some rabbit? No. Uh, some rabbit. No, 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 no. Can you please some carrots. buy some carrots? Could you please buy some carrots? Very good. Sueño, Could you please buy some carrots? Almost, almost. I'm going to McDonald's. Can you please uh, get me some fresh fries? French, French fries. fries. French, French fries. fries. Very good. French fries. Could you please get me some French fries? Very good. I'm going to the post office. Could you please? Could you please get some Could you stamps? Get some stamps. Exactly. Um. Could you please get some stamps? Some stamps. Las cositas que le dan así. Okay. I'm going to a pet shop. A pet shop is where you can find animals, where you can find different teacher, animals. Tiene la teacher. Ya tiene sueño el internet. Okay, I'm going to a pet shop. <laughs> Como dijo. Nos vamos, teacher. Hasta My luego. <laughs> Tomará asistencia. <laughs> Por un segundo se me fue. Pensé que me había desconectado. No, dígame el del pet shop. Otra vez. No, 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 no se vayan. Salía Melanie Portillo, present teacher. <ríe> que vaya. <un. ríe> Permítame, vamos a ver. Present a ver teacher. ¿Qué pasa? <ríe> present okay. teacher. Para. Yo sí te muero. Yo sí te muero. Para hoy mañana, present. Ya van, ya van. Deje pasar a la asistencia, pues ya que son las 58. Ok. Ana Gabriela Córdoba de Samayoa. Present teacher. Present, ok. Very good. Ahora de mañana, present. Ok. No, deje pasar a la asistencia ahorita todo. Eh, Ángela de Jesús Santa María Juárez. Ángela. Uy, se trabó otra vez. Present teacher. Ok, ok. Yo creo que aquí vamos a terminar, chicos. Ya tengo la asistencia. Aquí la vamos Sorry. a tomar la It is the hot now. No quiere trabajar mi, 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 mi internet present teacher. Ok. No, we're going to finish here. Vamos a terminar acá, chicos. Vamos a quedarnos acá porque ya no los escucho. Ya son las 10 de todos modos. Ok. I will see you guys tomorrow. Los veo mañana entonces, el último día. Van a recibir la... Okay, let me see. No, teacher, la hemos perdido. <laughs> Ya dijo, you see tomorrow, teacher, en el WhatsApp grupo. Así see que, you see tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bye bye. Como lo bye, voy a decir. Bye, teacher. Estamos bye. esperándola, pero. <laughs> bye, bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Could you repair the internet, miss? ¿Cómo fue si soy de clase? <laughs> <laughs> No. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 B
see you tomorrow. Se pasa. Uh... Ah, Emerson no se va a quedar, no sé si va a quedar alguien. <laughs> bueno, el internet no está mal. Está malo de todos modos. Yes. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow. Adiós. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Good night, Esta cosa. Esta es... mm. 